DJI just handed the drone world a plot twist, a leak of accessories and pricing that suddenly makes a lot of guesses look plausible. When retailer pages and packaging images start leaking, this isn't idle gossip. It's a signal that packaging, pricing, and supply chains are aligning. Everyone who cares about travel filmmaking is asking the same thing. Is DJI about to put pro-level imaging into something you can actually stuff in a day pack? The way this leak landed, concrete numbers and product names turned curiosity into urgency overnight. If you're shopping, planning trips, or trying to time an upgrade, this moment matters. Stick with me. I'll walk you through the numbers, the hidden design moves, and the one big competitor that might change the choice you make. First up, the numbers on that leaked price list and why they matter. Here's the surprising part. The leaked list didn't just show the drone, it listed the whole accessory ecosystem. The intelligent flight battery appears at $69 and a new Battery Plus version at $99. A two-way charging hub shows up for $49 and ND filter sets for about $55. Those prices tell a business story, DJI expects people to buy extras and it's designing a modular day of shoot system more than a one and done purchase. Practically, that means your true cost to shoot a full day isn't just the drone's price, you'll likely factor in an extra battery or two, a hub to cycle them, and a few filters. That's normal for creators, but it changes how you decide whether to upgrade now or wait for bundles. Remember, leaks are leaks. Treat numbers as likely but not gospel until DJI posts official pricing. Pricing sets expectations, but there's an even quieter detail on the box that changes who can fly it. If you ever wanted a single reason to toss a drone into your bag without legal drama, the C0 label is it. Multiple packaging photos in the leak show that C0 marking, shorthand for staying under the 249 gram regulatory threshold in many countries. That's the difference between paperwork and instant takeoff for casual flyers and travelers. Imagine hiking to a sunrise location and launching without registration forms or extra permits. That convenience can change behavior more than a few extra pixels on the sensor. But it's also a design challenge. How do you cram a larger sensor and smarter flight systems into that sub 249 grams envelope? The packaging hints that DJI tried to thread that needle. And if true, it's a smart move that keeps the drone legal friendly while pushing imaging forward. As always, leaks suggest they don't confirm. So what imaging did DJI squeeze into this tiny box? The camera rumors will make you look twice. Here's the headliner, leaks repeatedly point to a one inch sensor capable of high frame rate capture. Reports say 4K at 120 frames per second, plus a bright native aperture and a medium tele mode for tighter framing. If the final files match what's being whispered, that changes the whole value equation for pocket drones. Night shots would look cleaner, slow motion becomes cinematic instead of noisy, and vertical capture wouldn't be a cropped afterthought. For creators who shoot social first content, that combination would be a game changer. Pack less, shoot more, deliver higher quality clips straight from the drone. But caveat country, these specs are leaked or inferred from packaging and insider posts. Excellent indicators, yes, but not an official spec sheet yet. A better camera is great, but a drone has to survive in the wild. That's where sensing and navigation matter. The rumors point away from gimmicks and toward practical upgrades. A LiDAR style front sensor, omnidirectional obstacle awareness, and beefed up active track. That combo means the drone could actually be more reliable in low light, in fog, and over flat terrain where depth cues are scarce. For a traveling creator, that equals fewer emergency landings and more consistent footage, not because the pilot got better, but because the drone reads the world more intelligently. Imagine following a runner down a tree-lined path at dusk without constant signal loss or crash anxiety. That kind of confidence changes your creative choices. You can attempt riskier moves knowing the machine has better survival instincts. Again, these items come from leaks and box text, so treat them as strong leads rather than final facts. DJI didn't only upgrade the brain, they tinkered with the little mechanics that bite you on shoots. Some of the most useful changes are the smallest. Rumors show DJI moving away from one-time prop screws to a tap and twist system, and a quick release propeller guard option appears in accessory lists. There's also chatter about a dedicated top button to power up without the controller. 
the kind of micro feature that matters when a great shot appears and you have seconds to launch. These aren't headline specs, but they're the difference between grabbing the drone and getting the shot or fumbling while the magic moment passes. For real world shooters, these improvements often feel like comfort upgrades. Less time wrestling with hardware, more time capturing. Put another way, they nudge the whole system toward being genuinely travel friendly. How long will it actually stay airborne? The leaks drop a useful number. Leaked materials and box text have repeatedly named about 36 minutes of base flight time, with references to a larger battery plus option for extended sessions. Combine that with the two-way charging hub listed in the price leak and the practical takeaway is clear. DJI expects multi-battery workflows. One 36-minute battery is fine for quick runs, but for full shoots, you'll want extras and a hub to keep them rotating. That's why the battery plus at $99 matters. It's not just a sale, it's a way to produce longer days without swapping charger bricks. As always, flight time numbers are manufacturer estimates until independent testing confirms them, but these figures align across multiple leak sources, making them reasonably plausible. Imaging, sensing, and batteries are one side of the story. Competition is the other. While DJI seems to push single lens image quality, a new player has chosen a different creative bet. The Anti-Gravity A1, backed by Insta360, records 8K 360 footage so you can reframe later. That's a radically different workflow. Instead of committing to a single framing in the air, you capture every angle and decide the final crop during editing. It's liberating and dangerous in equal measure. Creative freedom in post, but a heavier editing load and different visual constraints. The A1 also targets the sub 249 gram category, meaning it competes directly on convenience. So your choice may come down to the creative workflow you prefer. Nail the single perfect frame now or capture everything and sculpt it later. Both directions have merit. And competition like this accelerates innovation for creators. So who actually benefits from these shifts? Let's get practical. If you travel light, edit in mobile apps, and post to reels or shorts often, the Mini 5's rumored combo of low weight and high imaging could be a perfect match. Outdoor creators who need night shots or cinematic slow motion without hauling a Pelican case will feel the appeal. On the flip side, if your work depends on heavy raw pipelines, larger sensors, or interchangeable lenses, you'll probably keep your bigger gear for primary shoots and use something like the Mini 5 as a fast secondary rig. And racers or hardcore FPV pilots, those groups prioritize agility over footage fidelity, so this isn't a straight swap. The rule of thumb, pick the tool that best fits the workflow you actually use on location, not the one with the flashiest headline. Before you rush to pre-order, a few important caveats. Leaked packaging, retailer listings, and insider posts are strong signals, but they're not the final word. There are three practical pitfalls to watch. Region-specific weight differences. Some boxes omit the 249 gram mark in certain markets. Firmware and thermal performance once you push the camera hard, and the real total cost of ownership once you add batteries and filters. Also check whether DJI limits certain features by region or with specific controller models. Those subtle differences occasionally turn a global launch into a staggered, confusing rollout. The smartest move is to be ready. Watch for official specs, wait for hands-on reviews, and if you're tempted to pre-order immediately, at least factor in accessory costs. If you're still curious, here's how I'd build a real shooting day with this kit. Assuming the leaks prove accurate, my run and gun kit would start with two batteries, a standard pack and the battery plus for long legs. Toss the two-way charging hub in your bag so you can swap and recharge between locations and pack ND filters for daytime cinematic motion blur. Add a quick release guard for protective flying in tight spots and keep the drone charged and ready using the top power button rumor. Because if a sunrise suddenly looks perfect, you'll want to launch in 10 seconds, not 10 minutes. For editing, plan for minimal color grading if you're, if you're posting fast. The one inch sensor should give you cleaner shadows and highlights than previous minis, meaning a higher chance of posting straight from your phone. This everyday practical approach makes the upgrade a time saver, not just a spec flex. Last thought, why this release matters for the year ahead. <coughs> 
if DJI succeeds at marrying a one inch sensor, smarter sensing, and sub 249 grams convenience, we won't just get a slightly better pocket drone, we'll get a shift in how creators travel and shoot. The threshold for carrying professional looking aerials would drop. More creators bring a drone, more unique shots are captured, and that pushes creative standards up across social platforms. But the real test is hands-on. Image files, transmission stability, and firmware polish will decide whether this is a revolution or a smart iteration. So here's the question I want you to answer in the comments. Would you sell a heavier drone to carry this pocket powerhouse? Hit subscribe if you want to follow up hands-on breakdown the minute the reviews land. I'll dig into the best battery combos and which bundle actually gives you a full day of shooting without panic landings.